Uh, while this is an ongoing investigation, the police can confirm that this was a terrorist incident. And uh, clearly, my thoughts are first, my uh, thoughts are first with the emergency services, with the police, the bravery that they showed in going towards danger, as they do. I also want to pay tribute to the extraordinary bravery of those members of the public who physically intervened uh, to protect the lives of others. And uh, for me, they represent the very best of our country, and I thank them on behalf of, of all of our country. I think we're all very saddened also to learn that some people have been injured in this event and our sympathies are very much with them and with their loved ones. Clearly the Metropolitan Police are continuing their investigations and I can assure you and assure everyone that anybody involved in this crime, in these attacks, uh, will be hunted down and will be brought to justice. And I think the message that we send to them and anyone associated uh, with this type of attack is one that will be familiar, and that is that this country will never be cowed or divided or intimidated by this sort of attack, and our values, our British values, will prevail. Well, there is a certain amount that the uh, police are able to share with us at the moment, but it is not yet entirely clear, and they're not at a stage where it's possible to go public. But what I can say is that uh, here in number 10, we will continue to be having meetings and consultations as the, as the evening goes on. Well, to the best of our knowledge, the incident has been contained, uh, uh, but you know, I pay tribute again to the work of the police and the emergency services in what, they, in what they've done. Uh, but I would urge everybody, of course, to be, to be vigilant, and one cannot help but think back to what happened in, uh, in 2017 uh, in the same part of the city. And uh, I hope very much that people will be able, uh, as fast as possible, uh, to, uh, to go about their normal business. And just finally, this happened, of course, in the middle of a general election campaign. Will campaigning continue as normal? Well, I've obviously stopped my campaigning for, for this evening, but we'll be, we'll be reviewing the matter in the course of the next